Ethereum is outperforming Bitcoin to the downside. You'll see that ETH dominance coming in. Do I have the patience to wait for that is the question. Do I have the patience to wait for that? And so probably going to get a bounce on the first pass off this region here at 2156. Welcome back to Bitcoin Advisors channel. My name is Chris, bringing it to you here from a lovely little Westlake Village, California. It's bright, it's rainy. I've been up early and boy, uh, got a little bit of a fun show for you guys today. Uh, starting off with the trade setup, I'm looking for a macro kind of a reversal here on Mr. Uma Thurman coin. Uh, yep, getting short already on this one as a bit of a shooting star uh candle right in your face there on the two-day time frame looking for this one at a minimum to come down to about 390. Uh, i do want to take a look at some of the liquidation levels on ethereum uh, going over a trade setup we dropped in the discord yesterday and uh, kind of see where we're at on that horizon as well Feel free to join the Discord in the link in the description below. And just overall looking at Bitcoin, Ethereum, we'll take a look at some of the altcoins and what is um, upon us here on this uh, rainy Christmas Eve. It's not Christmas Eve, but I made a long stream yesterday. I hit the wrong record button, so that's why I missed you guys yesterday. Um, and yes, so... Still looking at uh, broken record status here. I'm talking about a bounce on Bitcoin, probably in the shorter term. Um, and uh, yeah, I've got a position open right now on Ethereum. Again, these inverse perpetual futures contracts. You can see we're up 40,000 in the green right now. So what am I doing to manage that stop loss? Um, I'm actually <laughs> probably gonna push it up here right above uh 20 it's so hard but uh it's so hard to give up those profits you know what i'm saying but uh if you put your stop loss too light or too tight you're gonna get wicked out of your position and uh unfortunately i've learned the hard way about that uh many many times as the downside target at a minimum i'm looking at 2173 if we lose that region, well, the next level down is that 2618. And uh, here's the 1618. And just briefly want to touch on the four drive philosophy um, and um, what is going on right now. And um, again, managing these positions, you know, we're looking for a big wick down here and um, possibly taking some off right there below this wick or if we just get a quick bounce off that 1618 you can see this consolidation has been in here for a while so here's the big debate right are we going to go based off the hourly consolidation or the 15 minute and i wish i could get the live stream thing going here today but uh, i don't have the time at the moment and is it going to pop down to this 1618 right here? Well, how many drives of hidden bearish divergence do we have is the question. And um, I do believe I'm just going to I'm going to bring this down slightly and I am going to go off the hourly uh, for most of this position and see if we can get a wick down. Come on, come on. And what's going on here on the shorter term time frames is we can see I wish I could do dual monitors here, but I can't. So Bitcoin uh, getting the shaft slowly but surely. You can see Ethereum is outperforming Bitcoin to the downside. You'll see that ETH dominance coming in. And I'm glad I'm bringing this up here, but because on the first pass on this green 55, you typically get a bounce. Well, that was your first pass. That's the two day time frame. So really, I should be targeting this move all the way down to 2036. Um, as volatility is just beginning to expand again on the daily. So do I have the patience to wait for that is the question. Do I have the patience to wait for that? And um, I should, I should, I should just put my stop loss right up there. Although I do believe we're gonna get a bounce from that level. Why is that? Well, in particularly, 
If we look at the liquidation levels on Ethereum, they're gonna come grab all this liquidity, I think. That's that's probably, people are net short right now. Um, the longs are about to get hammered. And um, wanna take a look. By the way, uh, new partnership with uh, High Block Capital. So if you wanna get access to these indicators, there is gonna be a link in the description below because they can come in quite handy. Uh, I have to say so myself and just slowly but surely we are we're coming down to that first heated area for Bitcoin, the second heated area 38450. I do believe that is in the cards 38500 and then the next heat map level down 37650. Um, but uh, more importantly, I'm focusing on Ethereum right now as uh <clears throat> i do believe that uh we are amidst a bit of a correction as the 15 minute volatility is so you want to see the all the time frames momentum begin to get in alignment with each other which they are right now and i'm just so tempted to move my take profit down because right here there's all these stops going to kick in which means short orders are going to fill so let's Let's move it down, right? Let's move it down to the ground here on the daily time frame. Let's let's grow a pair, guys. Grow a pair. Let's grow a pair and uh, have no fair. Have no fair. Okay, I'm gonna get rid of this two point one million dollar. There we go. Done. Okay. And then I'm gonna move this down. You know what's odd? I'll tell you what's odd. Is that, um, I'll tell you what's odd here. On Bybit, by the way, there's a link in the description below if you wanna get uh, wrecked using leverage, well, feel free to give them a shot. Uh, Mexi as well, also, uh, if you are a US customer, I think they are a little bit uh, more favorable. Needless to say, this is like two, how many million ETH? 2.8 million ETH. Wow, 2.8 million ETH, is that right? No, it's 1.275, there we go, 1.275. And what's gonna happen here is if we hit that take profit, the f so again, kind of reviewing our ideas here, I'm gonna move the next one down. Let's just move it down, guys. Let's 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 grow up here. That's where the real money is going to be made, right? Is down here. We want that real life-changing, wife-changing money uh, to be upon us here. But uh, what what is happening here is stops are about to get hit. So let's take a look. Okay, do I want to take some profits off right here? That is the question and high block capital can give us the answer. So probably gonna get a bounce on the first pass off this region here at 2156. But um, I am seeing on the four hour, which is gonna close in about four minutes to be exact. Four hour is gonna close in four minutes and you got this little consolidation here we're in a volatile market so volatile markets right you can use those wicks and volatility is just about to tick back up shoot we could get stuck in this range for another little while here based on if bitcoin decides to bounce but nasdaq's only up 89 dollars normally nasdaq is just creaming to the upside every single day and um only up $89 NASDAQ, come on. So NASDAQ showing some weakness. And I do believe, I mean, after all those rallies to the highs, that uh, we probably get a bit of a continuation play there. So moved that stop loss into a profit. And you can see also here that uh, we're right at the 786 FIB. So what do we need to do to uh, get out of this range and perhaps get into a new range would be Something like this, um, man, how greedy do I want to be? 
20,800. We got two minutes left on this four hour candle. So playing b between the fibs here, you can bounce off the 786 and go all the way back to the uh, 2239 level, which would be probably the route of the most pain here. Probably the route of the most pain. So I am gonna rise that stop loss up. I don't even care now. Down, I'm gonna push it down. I'm not gonna give up that much. Which I've already given up some, quite a bit actually. Uh, currently sitting there and I've got a short on AVAX. Um, so getting a little five minute bounce. Five minute bounce. Uh, remember the last 10 minutes of any of these types of, uh, <clears throat> where is that stop loss chilling? Right there at 2201. Yep. Could we get a reversal here? Uh, five minute is going to, and you get a four hour backfill. So that is the question. And based on what Bitcoin is doing right now, putting in a bit of a bounce on the 15 minute time frame. I just turned $140 into $1,300 over the last two weeks. Yes, it's possible in the land of cryptocurrency. My name is Chris Mitchell. I am the CEO of Crypt Courses. And I'm bringing you this video because I'm gonna give you some really good information on how to buy, sell, and trade digital currency. Now, you've probably heard about a lot of people making a lot of money in crypto, but you don't feel safe or intelligent enough to make the investment. That's why I created Bitcoin 101, how to stack sats using technical analysis. It's the crypto trader's dream to starting your crypto journey. It's absolutely free. All you gotta do is click on the link in the description below and we will get you your free guide today. I think it might just be time to let these profits go, guys. Uh, to take these profits and run like the wind. Run like the wind on declining volatility, the four hour HPDR. I'm gonna take a look on my other screen here. We're just at the bottom side of the range. So as volatility begins to expand, hey, 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 Levi, no. My dog is with me today. Good morning, Giselle. Good morning. Um, What else are we looking at here? So I guess I could bring up this other screen here. I just, yeah, I'm gonna move this position off to the side so I can look at it while I'm doing the stream. And I can show you guys what I'm looking at, more importantly. And is it about to flip? Is it about to flip the 12 hour off the purple 200? Eight hours left to go on that one. You gotta bounce on the first pass. 10 hour lost it. The 10 hour lost it. And what am I referring to on the five minute time frame? You can get some nasty reversals on this five minute time frame. So volatility has just begun to expand to the downside. And you can see they're just grabbing people's stop losses and uh, hopefully just gonna push it back down one more time. Momentum is still to the downside as volatility is uh, pinned, not quite pinned, but pinned volatility. We want to see this get red and the moving average get pinned up there. So could we go a little bit more? You know, the curling over of this uh, volatility. I'm going to eat a cookie for breakfast. I'm going to eat a cookie for breakfast. It's all I got and I'm starving. Um, so when volatility begins to decline, even on a five minute, you can see the 15 minute is just starting to get up there. Uh, 30 minute is increasing, telling us, hey, there's more left on this move. Bam. Hourly's up. Uh, 
I really just closed bearish. So are we going to get the backfill up to 2198? Perhaps yes. This sure has not moved down in a straight line. Bearish candle with volume. All we got to do is take out the wick. All we got to do is take out the wick. All we got to do is take out that wick, sir. And the next level down this wick. So what does the heat map say for Ethereum? Bunch of liquidity, oh, this is not Ethereum. Let's run the report. Let's run the report, guys. And then talk about some other shorts that are perhaps presenting themselves, presenting themselves. Uma being one of them. And I'm gonna add my uh, stop loss in. 50, 50, confirm. Uma, four hour closure just happened. And I want to bring it there. Uma Thurman, Mr. Uma Thurman. And yes, I'm gonna have to bring it right up there. Right above that wick. Well, potential to get liquidated on that one, but uh, looking for that continuation drive to the downside, back on to E. Does look like we're gonna get the backfill, so. Uh, is Bitcoin gonna be a dirty dog here and get a reversal? Bitcoin's looking more bullish than uh, the rest. Definitely then uh, more bullish than Ethereum at the moment. So really getting granular here, doing some trading exercises over the past few days. I wanna bring up this guy here right now. HPDR indicator is saying continuation, uh, continuation. So it's like, close your eyes, hope for the best. Hope, hope to God that we don't uh, lose $20,000 of the profits. Close your eyes and hope for the best, guys. Do I have anything I want to bring up here? The talk of the town, right? GBDC dumping their Bitcoins. And um, supposedly the selling is done. That's the rumor on the street. Supposedly the selling is done. So here's what I got on Mr. Uma. Uh, one day time frame, looking bearish. And the two days, the one I'm going after, where is my two day time frame? Boom. It only lets me do so many favorites. Okay, that's this is the area I'm going for right here. Minimum target, as long as I don't get stopped out. As long as I don't get stopped out, back on Ethereum. So volatility is beginning to wane here. Giving us the first warning sign that we can get that short term bounce. Uh, what we want to see is, and we're about to get a cross back up, which just means sideways consolidation, honestly, for Ethereum um, in the short term. But I think a backfill is more likely than not. Oh, that cookie was good. Chocolate chip cookie, cookie thank you, Kana. Thank you very much. Any kind of a closure back above 2192. And uh, short term party of the downside is over. Quite a range here for Ethereum. It's taking some time to get down here, honestly. Uh, quite a bit of time. Do I want to give up half of the gains? 
I really don't. But let's remind ourselves where we're at in the green in the green scheme of things. Bottom of the range, declining volatility with the next target down here on the HPDR indicator at uh, 2086. What does the six hour say? 2118. Come on, give us a wick down. Give us a wick down, sir. Give us a wick down. Man. Anyways, um, I'm going to wrap up my thoughts here shortly. We do have declining volatility now on the um, six hour time frame. Now, where does invalidation happen? Well, below this wick, if you ask me. And that's where, you know, very likely we lead it on down a bit more. I, I just want a one queen. Can we just get one? clean sweep to the downside and then we can pick it up for some more bull market action because that's likely what's going to happen even if we do come down you can see on the day ethereum is down two percent 2.2 percent bitcoin's only down one percent nasdaq only up 0.5 dixie up 0.3 percent and let the bears the bears are out here today. Bears are out. They're out to take your coins. Your Ethereums, your AVAXs, your Neutrons. Man, my Neutron. My poor Neutron. What's going on? No, either way, you know, the stronger ones like DSO and AXL, right? That we've been going over the past couple of weeks here. They're still looking strong in my opinion again not financial advice uh <clears throat> major buying opportunity for mr chain link in the box of peace and prosperity and death and despair it does look like we are going to tag that area one more time uh one more time and get your links get your links get your um uh, how's that apt doing APT is about to receive it Be on the receiving end of a giant red candle. Yes. All right. What else do I see here? Momentum is uh, crossed down. And momentum, is, you know, volatility is low. Can we break the range? How much liquidity is down there? Let's zoom in. This is Ethereum. So right here. I'm going to change the settings. This is really cool, guys. You can actually see how much liquidity, how many liquidations are hanging out down here. <coughs> Boom. So the question is, do they come for it all? 2155, there's 1.1 billion. So roughly add all these together, you got probably uh, 25. Sorry. One, two, three. Oh, three billion dollars worth of liquidity hanging out. Where's that liquidity lying? Can I get a refresh, sir? Run. It's lying right all at the bottom, right at the bo at the bottom of this wick, just slightly below. So here's what it does lead me to believe. Here's what I see. Here's what I see. Here's what I see. As I get some of my gums. Um. Here is what I'm seeing. Volatility is beginning to decline on that five minute time frame. So, we'll cross back up above 2183. So, ETH is the one we want to keep our eye on. And just again, looking at the short term liquidation levels. They call them the lick levels. You got 100x longs, or sorry, 100x shorts going to get liquidated right here. Could easily get a nice little pump. One more pump to the upside. 22 million in liquidations there. Uh, 
All right, let's look back at our ETH chart. ETH, Mr. Buterol, five minute reversal coming in. Five minute, five minute. So are we just gonna flag out here like we did here? So here's something to notice and this could mean just some more sideways consolidation for a little bit. Um, as volatility reset. So what happened here? We did get a little test up to that uh, green 55 and a rejection right up here. Double top M formation popped it back down. What does the 15 minute say? 15 minutes. We're gonna close in another two minutes. And just by taking above this, to get that run back up to 2197, retest the breakdown area. And is volatility is declining. All right, I'm gonna take it off. I'm taking it off, guys. Here is how I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna delete the current limit orders out Ugh. let's see if this works if you stop loss you'll lose a ton of your profits okay hurry up chris limit at 2188 only 18 ethereum get me out $38,000 profit I'll take it come on come on sir Is it going to get me out? Look how annoying the pop-ups are on this little screen. You can't see it actually. Uh, can I move this? Can I move my box? These pop-ups are ridiculous. <clears throat> there it is, ringing in those profits, baby. Ringing them in, ringing them in. $35,000 profit, I will take it home. Hey, could it have been wrong? Yes, it could have. Okay, we're, we're done. <clears throat> we'll only find out tomorrow, guys. <clears throat> but I've been watching this market for some time. One thing I do know. is then when volatility begins to wane. All right, let me show you a couple things here. This is our famous Amos HPDR indicator. And what happens is when you close below historical range lows here, okay? With uh, this dark blue area, and you're closing in the light blue areas and volatility begins to decline, actually is declining. And uh, let me just get this off. So remember when volatility declines, you expect what's called a mean reverted bounce, a mean bounce, a mean reverted bounce. And we could always get back in on this and just add a little bit, but um, now volatility is increasing. All right, let's get back in. No, yes, no, yes, no. So tempting guys, so tempting. But as long as the nine is governing right here, 15 minute volatility increased, five minute decreased. We're getting a five minute buy signal, so 
Hey, why don't we go long on the other side? How about that? You guys want to go long? You want to take a long? Do you want to take a long? How much did we P&L on that? This is the other horrible thing about uh, five. So that's 12 plus five. Twelve plus five and a half. So yeah, uh, here's how I'll get short again, because the invalidation on that move will be with any kind of a closure back below that wick. And was there a lot of liquidity there to like drive price back up? No, I think I might have barned that move, guys. But that's what happens when you're trading live on your YouTube uh, channel and. Uh, you know that great old saying is you never get hurt taking a profit. And what I will do is re-enter on that short. Um, let me run this report again. We did tag some liquidity. Okay. We tagged $12 million worth? No. The pink line. Help me out here. High block. Nope. So, when in doubt, get it out. When in doubt, get it out. Short term bounce. Again, why? So now something has changed, but. The way this indicator works, okay, you're closing below the 50% of historical rate of returns, this line right here. And on declining volatility, you expect a mean reverted bounce. Where does the bounce come to? 2006, 2012. That's the area I'd love to get short again on. Uh, also, also note, very typical thing to happen on, uh, and very likely we do get that continuation of the downside, but very typical thing on a candle like this, you get a backfill to retest the breakdown level, which is this level right here at 2199. 2099, 2199, are you out of your mind? Which uh, is gonna line up with that perfect test area. So perfect test of the breakdown level at 2199 or perhaps 2195 at a minimum. And there whooped, there would have went $20,000 worth of those profits. So six was 12 plus five. How many, how many, what was the PNL on that? 6.6, 6 6.6 and 5.5. And this is why I like Mexi better than, so 18.7 ETH times, well, now they're only $2,100, so. So 39,000, not bad. Anyways, just wanted to bring you guys uh, in for a little insight on why you should take my crypto trading course. Technical analysis is not an exact sign, it's more of an art form. Once you learn the art, you learn your own strategy, you learn how you like to do things, well, you can reap the reward. So Bitcoin 101, how to stack sats using technical analysis. And then you've got the little more in-depth course. This one is $30 a month, but it's free for 30 days. So you can literally cheat the system, take the course for 30 days, and then you can quit. Go ahead and do it. On the other side of the fence, uh, on the other side of the fence, Who's that? Who's that, Levi? If you want to get deep down and dirty for some technical analysis and you really want to learn mastering the art of technical analysis, well, here's my little spiel about it. Check that out as well. And last but not least, if you want some one-on-one -on -one coaching, one-on-one -on -one online coaching, live coaching, uh, you can book an appointment there and uh, yeah, you know, that's not cheap, but 
If you just lost a hundred grand because you didn't know what you're doing, uh, I promise you it, it could pay you in spades to get a little uh, personal mentorship on, um, you know, what trading strategy might best work for you. All right. With that said, guys, have yourself a blessed and highly favored day, and I will see you tomorrow in the next one. Take care.